and welcome to Painting for Piglets. Today, we are going to make really fun collages out of painted paper that were inspired by the picture book author and illustrator, Eric Carle. So I have here a few of my family's favorite Eric Carle books. This one is The Very Hungry Caterpillar, all about how this caterpillar transforms into a beautiful butterfly. We also have From Head to Toe, which is one of my favorites because it involves wiggling around as you read the book, all about how different animals move. And Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See?, which I'm gonna read today. So I want you to pay special attention to the pictures. If you look up close at them, you will see that he made his illustrations out of cut pieces of painted paper. Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? I see a red bird looking at me. Red bird, red bird, what do you see? I see a yellow duck looking at me. Yellow duck, yellow duck, what do you see? I see a blue horse looking at me. Blue horse, blue horse, what do you see? I see a green frog looking at me. Green frog, green frog, what do you see? I see a purple cat looking at me. Purple cat, purple cat, what do you see? I see a white dog looking at me. White dog, white dog, what do you see? I see a black sheep looking at me. Black sheep, black sheep, what do you see? I see a goldfish looking at me. Goldfish, goldfish, what do you see? I see a teacher looking at me. Teacher, teacher, what do you see? I see children looking at me. Children, children, what do you see? We see a brown bear, a red bird, a yellow duck, a blue horse, a green frog, a purple cat, a white dog, a black sheep, a goldfish, and a teacher looking at us. That's what we see. All right, and here's that back of the brown bear. So now it's your turn to make art that looks like Eric Carl's, and you can do whatever you want. I'm gonna show you the steps. This is my finished product of a flower, but I started with just some blank paper, pages of colored paper. And I took my blank paper and a paintbrush and some paints that I had on hand. This is just a set of gouache paints that I had at home. You could use acrylic paints, you could use watercolor paints. If you don't have paint, you could use markers or crayons. Just something to streak the paper with color. So I'm gonna dip my brush in my water and take some of the white paint and mix it with some purple. And I'm just gonna paint streaks on the paper and it doesn't, have to be perfect. It actually ends up looking more interesting if the paint is streaked with some of the color of the paper coming through. So that is the first step to paint all of your colored paper. And when I did it, I had all different colors of paper. I had pink paper and green paper and blue paper and I painted all of them different colors. Then I took the scissors and my painted paper and so I didn't have to make too many cuts. I folded my paper up like this, and I started to cut different shapes out. And one thing I wanted to make were flowers. So I decided to cut shapes that looked like petals. So here I am cutting some petals, and then you can see how they turn out here. And if you look up close, you'll see how interesting the paint ends up looking on those petals. And now I have different piles of the paper that I cut at first. And so here I have some pink petals. I have some orange centers for the flowers, some more purple petals, some green leaves, and some green stems. So the next step after you cut all your pieces of paper up is to take another piece of blank paper. I like yellow for my background and start arranging the pieces of paper. I think I'm gonna stick with flowers because right now it's spring and I'm loving all the gardens outside. 
So I'm going to start with a green stem and add some green leaves. And then I think I'm going to make a flower with an orange center and some pink petals. This is almost like arranging a puzzle. I have all these different pieces and I'm trying to figure out what makes the most interesting design. I'm thinking of how things are arranged and I'm thinking of patterns. Pink, purple, pink. I need another purple. Pink, purple with the orange center and the green stem and the green leaves. So once you like how your image is laid out, and it could be whatever you want, you'll take some glue or tape, whatever you have available, to stick the pieces down onto the paper. I'm just gonna start here with this petal, put some glue on it, and that will make it lay nice and flat on the paper. And then you can keep on going until everything's stuck down to the paper. And when you're finished, hopefully, you'll end up with something like this. I had a lot of fun doing this. I started with just a simple flower, and then I went in and added even more petals and a center on top. And so if you look up close, you can see all the painted paper and then the different layers and how I arrange them. And now it's your turn to see what you can do. What you're gonna need is just some paper, it could be colored paper or white paper, and then something to draw on top of it with a color. You could use paint, you could use crayons, you could use markers. And then you'll take a scissors and cut that paper up into shapes. And then you'll just lay out your shapes to make whatever picture you're gonna make. I chose flowers like Eric Carle. You could do a caterpillar, you could do a butterfly, you could make animals, whatever you want. And when you're finished, I'd like you to share it with us with the hashtag PigsAlleySocial so we can see what you did. Have fun.